I'm here with junior defensive back Daquan Holmes of the football team. Daquan this past weekend picked off his got his fourth pick six career-wise, and that's an 8-10 record. Congrats. Yes, thank you, thank you. Um, talk us through that play. Uh, with the play going on, I knew the quarterback was not going to throw my way, so I cheated over to the left side, really, and knew which way he was going to throw. So, I mean, I watched him in film, and I seen that he likes to go to the single receiver side. He's going to try to pick in our corner. So what I did is I sprinted over there as fast as I could, and he threw it literally right in the spot where I figured he was going to throw it. Picked it off, and then I started running forward, and then I saw Lorenzo waving his arm, and then I just cut back across field, and and I just had some blocks, picked it up, and I knew I was in the touchdown. Awesome. So how much how much credit do you give to your blockers out front? It was a 54-yarder, a pretty a pretty lengthy return. Yeah. You got some good blocks out there. Yeah, I, I mean, uh, the front seven, especially the front seven that's in my class, Danny, uh, Omari, Ray, um, I'm trying to think of it, uh, Calvin, and Gerard. Of course, they always, they're all, we're all in the same class, so we've always we've had a, type of a, a, a clip together, like, you know what I mean, like we played intramurals together and stuff like that, so they all blocked for me, Gerard tried to take out a big lineman for me, so, I mean, they, 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 they did a couple good blocks, Justice was actually in front of me taking care of the quarterback, he took him all the way to the sideline, so that, that was, uh, it was big on the blocks, and without the blocks, I probably wouldn't have scored. Now you have 12 career interceptions, yeah. you're about a season and a half left of eligibility, um, you need seven more to get the any 10 record, is it? Mm -hmm. All right, how, how do you see that? coming about in the next year and a half? Uh, I mean, I, I really not only want to break it, I kind of want to shatter it, you know what I mean? Like, I, I was looking up the NCAA records, and I think the NCAA record is 34 or 35, something like that, some crazy number. And I, was, I was just looking it up, I was like, okay, I, I, that, that's that's kind of my goal, you know what I mean? I have, I have two years left, and I just kind of really want to set my mark at this school, basically, and, you know, put the football team of AIC in the Northeast Town on the map. For sure. Now, last year you had a game with two pick sixes, I believe, one of them a 100-yarder. Yeah. Now you picked off a third pass, um, but you cramped up, right? Yeah. What do you think would have happened if you hadn't cramped up and thrown that ball back to Mike Ford, I believe it was? I, I probably, I probably would have scored in that one, too. I probably would have because there was nothing but open field, and I was, but I was exhausted after yeah. that. I just ran so long that game, and so I was just, I was just exhausted. Yeah. Well, once again, congrats. Uh, Daquan Holmes, any 10 record, four pick sixes, and counting. Thanks, Daquan. Thank you. I'm here with AIC football coach Art Wilkins. Art, um, great season so far. You just won your first any 10 game. Um, recently, Daquan Holmes, your junior defensive back, set the any 10 record for interceptions returned for a touchdown. Kind of talk about Daquan a little bit. Daquan is uh, uh, not only one of the fastest people in the Northeast by track standards, but he has a real football sense. He knows when to go for the ball, when to lay back, and uh, so he's a uh, he's a regular ball hawk. <laughs> now, ex now explain kind of. He said the play that broke it. He kind of cheated a little bit. Is is Daquan getting thrown to like some of your other corners or? No, uh, da Daquan is mostly free safety. Uh, he made an interception last year against Bentley that in the game. And we were playing a week. Was uh, they had Hill, that great receiver at Bentley, and he kind of came out of nowhere and intercepted the ball. So he reads the quarterback's eyes. He's reading the uh, pass patterns. So he's uh, he studies pass routes a great deal. And so, uh, uh, based on knowledge, he has great anticipation. Besides the athletic anticipation that some great player players have. Right now, to be able to run back an interception, you have to have great blockers ahead of him. Daquan praised the guys ahead of him for blocking him all the way downfield. Do you have anything to say about, about your guys up front? Well, we work on it in preseason. We actually do an interception drill in the gym so everybody understands responsibilities. And uh, uh, we score quite a bit on defense. And so our boys really uh, uh, party <laughs> when we have an interception. <laughs> so. Uh, so there's a real escort going on. Yeah. The guys, the guys like it. Does that work for fumble recoveries as well? Uh, well, a little, uh, little I, different. It's a, it's a little different. What you'll see in a fumble recovery, we do work uh, fumble recovery and scoop. We have uh, scored several times on scoop touchdowns, and you'll see three or four guys trailing that, and uh, people get excited about it. Again, that's a drill that we first started in the gym. Right. Uh, Daquan has 12 interceptions career, about a season and a half left, probably 15, 16 games at least. Um, the record's 18 at the school. How likely will he break that? 
Well, uh, the more he intercepts, the less likely because people are going to try to keep the ball away from him. Uh, we had an All-American corner, Bob Parker, who is our career record leader. Uh, and uh, uh, Daquan's in line for that. Uh, uh, it's just highly unpredictable. Uh, but uh, it changed. it's kind of like having a big man in the, in the center of basketball. You know, people get aware of it, they kind of stay away, so it changes your offense a little bit. And that's, that's the kind of player Daquan is. So it's always nice to have the interceptions. Uh, but the fact of the matter is you may be causing a lot of other havoc if you're uh, a player like Daquan. Certainly. Um, AIC travels to New Haven tomorrow. Um, good luck, Coach, and the rest of the season. Thank you. We'll need it.